the Valley News Live at 6, I'm Justin Betty. We begin tonight with an update on a story we first told you about in early April. That's when Cass County Vector Control caught its first mosquito of the year. But after all the rain we've seen since then, in case you haven't noticed, mosquitoes are everywhere now. Valley News Team's Courtney Locke shows us what crews are doing to mitigate what could be a pesky summer. You don't have to look hard to find the problem. Standing water in our yards, at our parks, and in our ditches. The larval stage of mosquitoes are doing well right now. The spring and early summer has been wet. It's the first week of June, and we've already exceeded our average rainfall amounts for the year. That's a big deal for folks like Ben Prather at Cass County Vector Control. Things are going to be worse before they get better here. Crews are swamped. They're putting out product as fast as it comes in, trying to control the mosquito population before they can hatch and start buying. We had one application last year. This year is looking like we're going to exceed that uh, by a significant number. Um, if this weather continues, yeah, it could be it could be a, a challenging year. Prather says we still have a few calm days before the storm. They're prepared to act when they need to, but you can help now. It's a good time to you know evaluate those low spots, maybe bring in some fill, um, try to move that sump pump hose around, and certainly can. Uh, Empty your containers, uh, look at those uh, potters and those things. And of course, it doesn't hurt to keep the bug spray on hand. In Cass County, Courtney Locke, Valley News Live. Now, when it comes to aerial spraying, Prather says there are no major health concerns. The products, they say, are heavily regulated and meant to be applied in and around people. 